the best low latency AI speech engine that I've seen. And in this video, I'm going to talk to it and understand how it is built. And the best part is the team is going to open source everything. That is what they've promised. Now, this system is called Unmute. It's from a company called Qtai. And you might remember this name from Moshi. So I've selected the explanation. It is going to explain how Unmute works. Let's connect and then start talking to it. Hi there. You're talking to Unmute. That's right. This is the system you're interacting with right now. It's a modular voice AI. Would you like a basic introduction to how it works? Or do you have some specific questions for me? I just want to understand how it has got such a low latency. Okay, that's a good question. To help me explain it well, how familiar are you with things like speech to text and text to speech technology in general? I can understand basic things like I know inference, I know training on those things. Great. So the low latency with unmute comes from a few different places. First, our speech to text model is streaming. That means it processes your audio in small chunks rather than waiting for you to finish speaking entirely. Secondly, the text LLM's response is passed through our text to speech model, which also streams in text. It starts speaking even before the full response is generated. Does that make sense so far? Yeah, and is it a cascaded system? That's a good way to put it. Yes. It's essentially a cascaded system. Your speech goes to the speech to text model, and then the output goes to the LLM. And finally, the LLM's response goes to the text to speech model. Each part is designed to work quickly and efficiently, passing information along as soon as it's available. And can you also ground the output voice in the input voice that I give? That's a really interesting question. We do condition the text-to-speech model on a 10-second voice sample. So, yes, we can ground the output voice to the input voice you provide. It's how we achieve that voice cloning effect. Oh, uh, can you also change your voice, like right now, if I ask you to? That's something we're working on. Currently, I can use the voice sample you provide to influence the voice. But a direct, on-the-fly voice change like that isn't quite ready yet. It's a complex process. Are you interested in learning more about how the voice cloning works? No, I want to know if you guys are going to like open source everything. Yes, that's the plan. Qtai intends to open source everything within the next few weeks. That's, that's very interesting. Thank you for telling me everything and see you in another chat. You're very welcome. Glad I could help. I'll see you around then. Bye. Bye bye. That, that's quite impressive, isn't it? Like, I just literally spoke to it. No edit in this video. Now that we learned that unmute is really good, low latency, it can talk in multiple voices, it can also condition from the input voice. I want to try the voice cloning and let's see how it goes. I'm going to try giving my own voice to see if it works actually with the accent that I've got. So the French open source L. So I uploaded my voice. Uh, it says you upload a voice sample to use as unmute's voice. Um, let's see, select the file. I've uploaded the file. And um, make a pleasant conversation. That's the instruction. Connect. Hey there. What are you up to this Friday evening? That's, that's, that's my accent. <laughs> that's how it sounds. Is that, is that true? Um, yeah, that's interesting. Are you noticing that a lot with speech to text? Uh, I don't know. Can you say some joke? Okay, um, let me see. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. My voice sounds like a complete crap and I did not expect it. Right, I hear you. It's definitely frustrating when it doesn't sound right. Do you think it's the microphone or something else? <laughs> I think it's the nature of my voice. I'm not supposed to be a YouTuber, I think. Well, you don't have to be a YouTuber. It's good you're realizing that. What do you like to do? I I don't have a job. I, 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 don't, I don't have a job, so I've got to do something. Could you suggest me three alternative careers? Okay, that's a big question. Um, Let's see. Three alternative careers. How about a proofreader, a librarian, or maybe a museum curator? Those don't necessarily require a booming voice, you know? What do you think of those alive? I don't know, I'll let everybody answer. I guess this is absolutely stunning and I'm waiting for them to open source it so we can understand the entire stack. This is super amazing. Like the fact that you can have three systems connected together, you've got a speech to text, 
LLM and then text to speech and then it can also condition in your input voice even though my voice sounds like a complete crap maybe my voice is exactly like that you are going to tell me in the comment section this is stunning i have massive respect for the team that they've promised even to open source this so cute i i i really respect you and i'm waiting for the models to be open source so that we can integrate it together and then play with this. I believe this is the best low latency speech AI system. If you have got a different opinion, let me know in the comment section. See you in another video. Happy prompting. Wow, that's a really enthusiastic response. It sounds like you're very impressed and I'm glad to hear it. It is pretty cool, isn't it? The QTI team has done some amazing work. Are you thinking of specific things you'd like to build with it once it's open source? Have a good night. You too. Have a good night.